This is the uh, pattern that I want to create for the ceiling tiles for the dark hall that I've been working on. And uh, I don't usually do this in, in Blender, and in particular with the, uh, the, with the brick generator that I use to create the tiles. Uh, I could make short order of this in Substance Painter, but I wanted to do this all in Blender. And so this is the scene uh, where we left off. All right, and here's the ceiling tiles. We'll just focus on that. And uh, this is where we want to put those those dots. And this is what we have so far on this. All right, and I created this in in about the second video where I made the bricks. Th these are these are the tiles right here. All right, and these are the values that I used. And I've got a little bit of bump so that we can get that indentation there. All right, and so the way that I came up with this is illustrated here. And um, I'm going to, to use this, and I'll have to refer back to it. And it might be a little blurry as I zoom in and out so I can just see the values and try to remember what I've done. But basically, I think what it is, what we have so far is the texture coordinate, the mapping, nothing's changed there. And then down to here, this is the basic tile parameters right here. And then it goes into the bump and it goes into this first principle BSDF. And so what we're going to do is we'll create the dots down here. All right? Don't worry if you can't see it that well because I'll be doing it. And we'll be bringing this into a second principle BSDF. Okay, so that this, this shader here was, is going to be for the dots. And this original one is for the tiles. And everything is going to be the same. All right, the only thing I've changed here is the roughness 0 0.8 there, 0 0.8. So we'll do the dots. And then what we're going to find is the dots are going to be in the mortar as well, All right, which we set down here, the mortar size. So the, the dots are going to be in the mortar as well. And we want to get it so that the dots are not in the mortar and also are pushed out a little bit on the tiles themselves. All right, so you know there's, you could probably do this with geometry nodes or some other way, but this is what I came up with, and it might be useful to somebody, and it's what I'm I'm going to use. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So let me see what I'm going to need. All right, to do this, um, I decided to use a separate texture coordinate mapping so that I can adjust the scale of the dots down here. In addition, we'll be uh, doing some of that over here. Uh, so I'm going to copy that stuff and bring in Voronoi texture to create the dots. And then we're going to use this math node to a bump to the second principle BSDF. So let's just go ahead and set, start setting that up. So here, let's do this. Let's maximize that. And let's just uh, let's make this 0 0.8 for the roughness. And let's just copy that and shift D to duplicate it. Bring it down here. Pull that out a little bit more. And we're going to use a mix shader. We're going to use that and we're going to plug that in there. And as we're getting that set up, we're going to need a bump. So I'm just going to grab that one and duplicate it down. I think we're going to uncheck that and we're going to plug that into the normal. So we're just getting everything set up. All right, so let's go ahead and take these two, Shift D, and we're going to bring those down there. And to create the dots, we're going to use a Voronoi texture. So I'll put that there. I'll drag the vector into the vector. Okay, there we go. Now let's go back, and well, I'm going to Shift Control click on that and you can start to see what's going on here now I'm going to change the randomness to zero so they're not random so we can see that so that's good so far and let's just have a look at some values here forget about this for the moment so we got everything's the same here the scale we're going to have to play with but the randomness you can see is zero so I'll bring the scale up to around 98 right off the bat so we can see what that does so put it there so you can see we're starting to get a lot of dots all right now 
um, let's go ahead and bring in that math node and we'll start seeing how this all comes together so it's going to be a math multiply and I'll bring the distance into the first value and you can see that there and let's bring that into the height and I think what I'll do is I will click on I'm going to shift click over there so we get everything shift control click that is all right so we start to see something good going on here now if I start playing with this value and adjust this you can see what that's what that's doing let's come back over here I've got the clamp on so let's put that on so we are starting to get something that we like let's try 0 0.4 and we got that okay that's good so we're starting to get our our dots in there uh, I'm gonna try a higher value here I had 3.2 so I might as well Go ahead and plug that in okay that's that's even better so as I play with this you can see what that does to the size of the dots so I'm going to go back to my 3.2 and you can see uh, let me check one more thing let me just check the bump here that I've got I've got 0 0.5 okay it's still a little bit stronger than you can see that the dots are in the mortar and all over the place so let's deal with that next okay so what are we going to need we are going to need a second brick texture and we're going to need this math less than node with the value and that's going to go into the fact of the mixed shader so let's copy the brick texture here all right and we've got a mortar value let me just double check my mortar values first of all i've got that at, at uh, this one here at 0 0.01 i've got seven and everything should be all the same 0 0.01 okay the only thing we're going to end up changing is the mortar size on the second one so let's go ahead and, and duplicate that up here and let's grab this and we're going to use uv so vector to vector and uh, before I change that, we're going to add that math less than. And I am going to bring, I believe it is just the fact of this into the value. Let's do that. And the fact is, is going to give me the sort of the mask or the, the mortar, the mask of the mortar. I'm going to bring that in there and we're going to take that into the fact of the mix shader over here now look what's happening here all right we're getting the mortar and and so the dots are not going in the mortar but i would like it a little further out so i'm going to change this value and i think i used it was a 0 0.055 let's try that number so let's try 0 0.055 and this will depend on your all right so see it's pushed the dots back and then it's just a question of whether or not they're cut off or you get little pieces it's actually looking pretty good as it is without needing to make a change down here now if you do Let's just make sure I'm using similar values I meant down here. So see, I've got this at 98 and this at 3.2, slightly different than the values that I've got here. All right. Um, if I did have to change this, let's try if I made that 2 and that 2. Okay. So my point kind of here is you can change the size of your dots here 
and it should still work out. All right, I'll try three by three. Okay, now if they start getting cut off like this, that's when you go back and forth between this and this. And so let's just see, I'll hold down shift and I'm just going to, see I'm changing the size of the dots a little bit or maybe more than a little bit as I do this, bring that up. So I'm gonna go back to my 3.2. actually here as well the scale of the actual dots let's let's play with that you see and it slides them a little bit and just keep looking here and there and deciding if they're cut off and then you know you may have to come in here and adjust this a little bit to change the size of the dots They slide up and then check the bottom, check all sides. You know, if they're a little bit, you're probably not even really going to see them. Now, this may be a problem because I'm using an odd number there. Okay, let's, so let's say we had that. What would I do? I would play with this, pull them down, and that's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So that is basically how I achieved what I've got in this image all right and from there if you want you can add dirt or whatever you know just mix stuff in but I don't know that I'm really gonna need that in my image um, you know I think let's see if I just bring everything back let's go to layout and you can see it there so there they are so that's that's one way that you could I guess achieve this uh, what would be nice is to have them sort of staggered like a, a one there and then one in the middle and then one there and one in the middle uh, we could work on that another time but this seems to work for what I want to do here so uh, with that I'll decide if I want any dirt or anything else on top of this I probably would have a little bit and then uh, in the next video, I'm going to do the concrete here, and then we're going to do the bricks, and we'll do something at the bottom. And I may not actually have to change these because I'm going to be having a very pretty dark scene, and you're kind of just going to see the shadow of these. So I may not actually have to do materials other than what I've got for the metals, believe it or not. And same thing for the wood door. You're, you're not going to see it very well. You'll see what I mean as we get into it. Uh, because I don't want this to be a very light scene. I want to focus, kind of have these in the shadow and just this light area with some, some grunge on the bricks and some blood stains and stuff like that. So hopefully that was a useful uh, tip for you uh, if anyone ever wants to use something like that. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.